Hello, dear friends. <laughs> I'm the Fire Sign Theater. <laughs> Me and my three buddies here. And we'd like to talk to you for just a minute about what it means to be a member of the Fire Sign Theater and, and run the famous comedian school for all you fans out there in the audience. It's a surreal world, isn't it? It's weirdly cool. I don't even know what that means. That's because I'm in the Fire Sign Theater. He says. Well, <laughs> you know we're in the Fire Sign Theater. We are surrealist humorists. And we have a good, strong streak of vaudeville in us. It's the idea that there are probably a limitless number of dimensions, uh, and dementia for that matter. It has to do with perspectives. Surrealism is uh, a parody of realism. It, it is realism plus. It is taking uh, a perspective, or let's speak of comedy, taking a comic idea and twisting it out beyond the boundaries of expectations of what the comedy would be. The Marx Brothers use surrealism in their comedies to emphasize the uh, anarchistic nature of human beings by creating totally absurd situations and uh, uh, making them accepted as reality. People, in other words, when, when crazy things were happening around people, those people had to accept what was going on as being a form of reality. So they were participating in creating a surrealistic environment. Может быть, я могу сказать, что это очевидно смешно или не смешно. What he means to say is that we see ourselves as international humorists, bridging the cultural gap. But that's, that's surrealism. What is that? Well, Uncle Archie, now let me make this perfectly clear. Surrealism aimed to establish, as its founder, the poet André Breton said, the omnipotence of dreams by evading or destroying the controls of reason. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? And it really did seem like the comedy equivalent of rock music in the sense that, you know, it was, it was hysterically funny in its own weird stream of consciousness way that had nothing to do with linear thought, really. And, um, and then it was all, you know, like, I remember saying this years ago, it's like they put the, you know, they'll put an echoplex on a punchline, you know. It's, it's uh, kind of like, you know, kind of like kind of the trippy or music I was listening to it was very trippy comedy. You know, which which actually hasn't even really been um, done again since in quite the same way that they did it. 